All right, welcome VOD watchers. Uh, this is chapter 11, volume 2. Moving forward, shorter chapters. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. This was this is another 20-pager. Okay. The shorter chapters are honestly a lot nicer. Uh, well, yeah, they're not bad. It's like uh, half and half. The, the longer ones, you get more into them. You sort of get, you know, without getting a break. Yeah, but it is easier to get through. Exactly what I was going to say, Danger. So, for instance, like, you know, depending on the speed at which I could get through these chapters, potentially next week I could up it to two volumes in the weekend, you know? One on Saturday, one on Sunday. We'll see. Chapter 12 is 19. Chapter 13 is 18. Yeah, okay, awesome. Thank, thanks for letting me know, Comment Coon. But, yeah, that's that's really nice. Just because, you know, Saturday is, is like 3.30 is like a dead stop for me. So, you know, maybe I move it up to 1.30 and that gives us a little bit more reading time. Maybe we could get, you know, a whole volume done. Wait, it's, it's the opposite? Okay, cool. No big deal. All right, anyhow, this, the recording's going, right? Yeah. Recording is going. Okay, chapter 11. Conviction. Let me make sure that I'm... All right, anyhow, enough delaying. Chapter 11, conviction. I mean, look at the conviction in the in the in this, this, this page here. Holy moly, the shading, everything. Looks so fantastic. The little, like, blemishes in the skin. It just looks really good. Okay, so we see... This last panel from the last chapter, Muta, striking Shin over the head. And it looks like the king here, Sei, is watching on intended. Look at his hand, his jaw's hitting the floor. The king's eyes wide open. <gasps> now, is he, why is he shocked? Because is he shocked to see Muta or is he shocked to see Shin receiving some, a blow to the back of the head? But regardless, he's looking at Muta and we see, is this blood? Is this just the force of his... Arm moving down towards Shin's head. Shin! Boom! He just, just like spit. Shin spins around. Shin lands on the ground. Shin! Bah! You bastard. Oh, and he is. He did receive. He received a blow to the side of the head. He's bleeding and everything. You bastard. To not only dodge, to not only dodge Muta's attacks, but to even wound him is quite surprising. But as a warrior of the blessed of the Bessa tribe, Muta cannot overlook this. On Muta's honor as part of the Bessa tribe, he will rip out your entrails and kill you, youngster. Just try it, old man. Oh, all three of the target heads have arrived. Ah! Nah. Say, we were be we were followed. It's one of Seikyo's assassins. What are you doing just standing there and spacing out? You gotta help him. Shit's gonna get killed. Do you need a hand? Like hell I do. What? Ah. Wait a second. That weird old man is insanely strong. I know. I've, I've been watching. But if he dies in a place like this, for what we'll be facing later... No matter how many lives he has, it won't be enough. Shin! <gasps> He's right. Uh, that, that guy is seriously dangerous. And is he including me when he says three heads? Uh, are you, what? Are you still making fun of Muta? That makes Muta angry. Vroom, the aura. Ooh, he's got those axes at his side. The aura around him as he's like, you know, getting increasingly angry. Woo! Somebody just followed me. I just saw that pop up. That's that's the 50th. Kanak SB. Thank you. Um anyhow, back to the back to the chapter. He's coming. He like he's sort of like he sort of he get he Puts his foot down. You just sort of feel the, the squish of the, you know, be between the pebbles underneath his foot as he gets ready. Say, watching intently as what's going to happen. And then, boom, he leaps into action. Muta, a 
of course. Dun kung Kia Kung Barely stops the stops all these blows that Muta's laying onto Shin. Da 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 Slice, 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 zun, 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 zun. He's cutting Shin's arms up. Ah! Dun! Right into the side of Shin. Shin! It's blunt force. This blunt. Oh! So it was the axe, but Shin used his blade to stop it. I was going to say, how did the blade hit him, you know, right in the side? Uh... So Shin uses his blade to stop the axe. Okay, I mean, smart move. Otherwise, he would have taken it just a cleave to the side here. And he goes flying. He managed to block it with his sword. Everyone's just watching, waiting to see what's going to happen. Wait. Something's odd about Shin today. It's like he's sort of lost his edge. He seems... Smaller compared to when he was fighting the Shukyo. Hmm. That's enough. This has started to get dull. Die! Don't step back, Shin! Step back? Me? And he realizes... That that he was that his feet look look at the gro look at the, the the little grooves in the ground as he his feet were just pressed down and he was sliding back. Ka I'm actually scared. Your weapon is your conviction. I know that. The slice happens. He goes flying past Muta. Calmness in the background of this panel here. They both connected, but it looks like Shin has changed. He's been released from the curse of Muta's killing intent. The real battle will start here. And he charges back at Muta. That's what it was, this killing intent that we're talking about. Um, so it seems like Shin's mind, he sort of just got a little bit, a little bit overwhelmed, right? By, by Muta's presence, his aura that he had around him, you know, him just being an assassin, right? And that was sort of dawning on, you know, in his head and in, in his, in his, you know, in his cranium. And he had to break out of that and it ended up, it, it, it ended up being the king who helped him snap out of that. Now he's back to himself. Now he's back to being unchained, fighting like he was previously. Even Ten noticed he wasn't, you know, uh, fighting at his full strength. All right. It seems like we're back to like a, one of the cities now. Who's speaking? <clears throat> I apologize for calling you here so early in the morning, but there's a worrisome matter at hand. So please understand. Head of the str head strategist of the Ketsu Army, Master Shi. Last night we received from you something in regard to Shobukun's head, but as you can see, the injury is brutal. We cannot ascertain whether or not this is the actual person. Oh my lord! Look at the absolutely brutal disfiguration of. Shabukin's head, if it even is him. So I ask you, could you tell us in detail in what kind of fight and in what way did such a head become like this? General Oki! Oh, do you doubt me, Master Shi? It is not that I doubt you. It is merely my duty to have a firm grasp of the state of affairs. If someone fights with me, it is quite common for their heads to end up as a wreck like this. If you think I am lying, shing! How about we test it on someone around here? Uh, 
May I ask one question? Ask as... <clears throat> ask as many as you'd like. What is it you desire right now, General Oki? Hmm. <laughs> A world sheathing blood and dancing flesh. Zuku! Oh, they're like sweating. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. That was an Oki joke. There's no such. W There's no way such a world could exist. But if such a world were to appear in the future, huh? I wouldn't be able to resist it. <laughs> <laughs> His lips better getting bigger. Oh, he got big ass lips. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I actually want to read this. The the the, the what's it called? Uh, the typesetters' little notes at the end of each one. So early 2013 arrives, and a pair of Aussies decided to scan the kingdom at a rapid clip to make up for being bind by seven years. They would catch up at around 2014. 372 chapters, not including extras, in 16 months. Oh, my Lord. Pretty much an average of five to six chapters per week. This is here probably talking about themselves, right? All right. Let me cut the VOD.